Buenos dias! We are here with the fabulous, funky, fresh, vibey, <laughs> new girls on the scene, Love Collide! Hey! hey what's up? <laughs> Tell us your names, ladies. I'm Brooke. I'm Lauren. And they are absolutely stunning. They are, what I found out, Canadian, and what's the mix? Native American and Mexican. And Can French. you believe that? Yeah. They're basically like Canadian Latinas. I love <laughs> it! So I feel like I'm home. And really, it was awesome because no other artist has come to my actual home here in Franklin, Tennessee. So I have my fellow Latinas. You guys are the first ones to come to my house. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> nice. Thanks for joining us this morning. So we're gonna get started. What are you guys? What are you guys working on? What are you doing? Who are you? Tell us. <laughs> <laughs> so we're actually right now we're touring with Seventh Time Down mm -hmm. and Jasmine Murray. We're just really loving being able to play our music, our new music. Yeah. Because um, our album just dropped April 13th. Yep. Go um, check that out, guys. April yeah. 13th. It's already out, so you got no excuses. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's just really exciting to see people react to the new music. Right. Um, and then in the summer, we have um, the Christian festivals and things like that. And we're going to tour it. in Canada. Oh, yeah. perfect. I hear that you guys are vegans. Yes. yes. Okay, tell us about that. How long have you been doing this? Ooh, it all started with Lauren. Yeah. So, so actually, in, it's May now. So. May, um, three years. Three so years. Three years being wow. Vegan. Yep. Happy so, anniversary. Happy anniversary. Say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we should be celebrating. Um, but anyway, yeah, I mean, I was just interested in um, health, and I always am intrigued of, like, the the way, like, things were designed to be and how they were, like, meant to be, and so I looked at the Garden of Eden and how things are returning. I did a lot of research for health, and then in that, um, the ethical and environmental reasons came along with that. She yeah. said that I was convinced. She told me and it didn't take me long. I was just like, okay, cool. Okay, exactly. Yeah. And it's easy because you guys are always rolling together. So. Exactly. Yeah. I'll just follow what she did. Exactly. Yeah. Amazing. So we are in the kitchen today with the girls of Love Collide. <laughs> These muchachas are fire and they, they brought us some snacks. And yeah. We don't want to force anyone to be vegan, but listen, let's face it. All of us have like health issues that we need help with. Yep. They've been healed of things. I've been healed of things. And so we just want to give you guys some encouragement and give you some ideas. So what do you got? Okay. So really, really random things, but these are just some really <laughs> some easy our things. snacks as well. Yeah. Okay. So first of all, everyone knows like Biscoff, right? I mean, every single person knows Biscoff. Yeah, you get these on the airplane. And then this banana bread is obviously vegan. Yeah. It's, um, also gluten free because it doesn't have normal flour. It's quinoa flour. And you so, made this, right? I made yeah. this. Amazing. And so it's high in protein, it's gluten free, and it's vegan. So it's banana. You know, let's let's try that. You want to try okay. this? Pick it off. Let's, That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, you know, community here. All right. So there you go. That's awesome. Yep. Wait, you guys have to, we're going to try it at the same okay. time. Oh, okay. Have, have you tried this yet? I haven't tried this yet. Okay, great. I mean, I've had vegan banana bread, but I haven't tried this one. <laughs> well, now you're living. I'm like, I'm <laughs> now we're doing it. Okay. okay. All right. And okay. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to tell you if I, I don't like if it. Don't, okay. 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 It doesn't have to. Oh, it's terrible. No, I'm just kidding. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the last thing is definitely not everyone's cup of tea, but I had to bring it because it's our like it's our favorite thing. Okay. snack ever. So it's actually seaweed. <laughs> so they're little seaweed chips. Yeah, seaweed snacks. I don't some know if I want to remember. Some people it. like. Some people really hate it. So okay, this is just like. An okay, awesome. we're all doing this together at okay. once. Well, we I'm like we love. You can take a little bite. You don't have to eat the whole thing. Yeah, we'll probably yeah. Um. So is this like your savory treat? Is it's this very, like, it's very salty. It's salty, okay. yeah. So this um, is just like this is like all the sodium you need for one day in this one yeah. chip. Yes. Okay. Okay, ready? Here we go. I mean I've had communion before, but I've never had like vegan <laughs> banana bread and seaweed chips. <laughs> very different so. tastes. Okay, here okay, we let's go. Do this. One, two, three. Tastes like fish. Mmm. Ocean. Like you're licking the ocean floor. I'm in Hawaii right now. I, I can see that. <laughs> I'm lying. I do have my tropical jacket on. No, you know what? I like the vegan bread, but I actually like this better. Really? What? You know, I'm really surprised. I, I don't know if it's like for everyone, but I feel like I'm actually having, you know how you have the whole sushi roll with the rice yeah, and yeah. the sushi and everything? Mm -hmm. I actually feel like I'm having that and then I'm actually not eating a fish, which is kind of great. Right. Yeah. So exactly. It's, it's so good. Really like it. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm so glad. I'm going to keep us on track. I mean, I want to look like this <laughs> and not put two of them together and it's me. So we're going to get there. We're going to do this together. Okay. All right. Yes. Every shadow, every sorrow, you have met my heart with open hands. By tomorrow, love's already played. No, guys, 
so we need to take care of our temples. I actually, right before you guys came this morning, um, started to get back on track because, you know, there's moms and there's, I'm not going to just say moms, there's men, there's women mm-hmm. all over the world, there's people our age that, you know, are young and they don't feel good about themselves. So it's yeah. not just image, but it's also for health, like to yeah. even do our careers and do what we're doing. We need the energy too. And just because you have a platform doesn't mean you don't struggle with that. And it's not about size. You got, you got like this petite and then you got fun size and fabulous, and, you know, so it, it, it goes for both. But I'm actually, I'm glad that I I have you in my life now too because I want to get back on track and maybe yeah. you can help our viewers get back on track too and how do you guys find time to be creative because I mean this music that you just came up with is so creative it's so different and oh. awesome <laughs> thanks um I think it just you just don't stop yeah being creative. yeah I mean I think creativity comes out in so many different ways yep. yeah for so many different people um and I mean, whether it's writing songs or whether it's coming up with new recipes for food or whether it's <laughs> writing poetry or, I mean, Creating it's Creating an outfit. Yeah, I mean, makeup. I think there's just so many different ways of being creative, and I think the the key is not stopping. Yeah. yeah. And not, like, allowing seasons of life determine, like, when you're creative. So another question that we have for you is, your fashion, how do you guys mm. find the balance? Have you guys gotten like, you know, pushback from that? Because obviously you're pretty fiery and out, out of the box and yeah. I, I kind of right there with you. So yeah. how, what's that like for you? It's, yeah, it's a difficult balance to find. It is. Yes. And we have gotten pushback at different times yeah. as well. Um, yeah, it's it's something that we honestly, it's it's been one of our harder struggles within the Christian industry. Yeah. Um, you know, you have to really care to a point about how other people may feel. But I think also you have to take care of yourself and also think about, you know, where what do you think is right between you and what, yeah. and God? And it's what, a hard what have condition, you, you know what I mean? it's, Yeah, between, yeah. in the heart. And so um, keeping each other accountable to, yes, this is modest and what we think the world would think is modest, but also, like, but do you feel comfortable in it? How do you feel? Like, yeah. do you, do you want to wear this? Like... Are you cozy? Are you yeah dressing with intention? You know what I mean. Absolutely. You're not intentionally trying to offend a mom by a short skirt, skirt or showing some cute shoulders. Like you should be able to do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's what we're trying to open up to. And I'm gonna take some of you moms out there looking, and I'm gonna show you how you can do it too. Ladies, thanks for coming out. Oh, yeah, Seriously, thank you for having us. You, you know you're coming back because we were <laughs> instant best friends. Yeah. <laughs> most of the time I tell people you look almost as fabulous as I do, but I feel like you guys just look just as fabulous as I do. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm honored. So you're welcome to my casa anytime. Oh, thank, thank you. you. We'll see you soon. Ciao. Bye.